Glycoprotein Glycoproteins are proteins which contain oligosaccharide chains, glycans, covalently attached to amino acid side chains. The carbohydrate is attached to the protein in a co-translational or post-translational modification. This process is known as glycosylation. Secreted extracellular proteins are often glycosylated. In proteins that have segments extending extracellularly, the extracellular segments are also often glycosylated. Glycoproteins are also often important integral membrane proteins, where they play a role in cell-cell interactions. It is important to distinguish endoplasmic reticulum-based glycosylation of the secretory system from reversible cytosolic nuclear glycosylation. Glycoproteins of the cytosolic nucleus can be modified through the reversible addition of a single glucnac residue that is considered reciprocal to phosphorylation and the functions of these are likely to be additional regulatory mechanism that controls phosphorylation-based signaling. In contrast, classical secretory glycosylation can be structurally essential. For example, inhibition of asparagine-linked IEN linked glycosylation can prevent proper glycoprotein folding and full inhibition can be toxic to an individual cell. In contrast, perturbation of glycan processing, enzymatic removal slash addition of carbohydrate residues to the glycan, which occurs in both the endoplasmic reticulum and Golgi apparatus, is dispensable for isolated cells, as evidenced by survival with glycosides inhibitors, but can lead to human disease congenital disorders of glycosylation, and can be lethal in animal models. It is therefore likely that the fine processing of glycans is important for endogenous functionality, such as cell trafficking, but that this is likely to have been secondary to its role in host pathogen interactions. A famous example of this latter effect is the AVO blood group system. Types of glycosylation There are several types of glycosylation, although the first two are the most common. Monosaccharides Monosaccharides commonly found in eukaryotic glycoproteins include colon 526. The sugar groups can assist in protein folding, improve protein stability and are involved in cell signaling. Dot. Examples One example of glycoproteins found in the body is mucins, which are secreted in the mucus of the respiratory and digestive tracts. The sugars when attached to mucins give them considerable water holding capacity and also make them resistant to proteolysis by digestive enzymes. Glycoproteins are important for white blood cell recognition. Examples of glycoproteins in the immune system are H antigen of the EVO blood compatibility antigens. Other examples of glycoproteins include Soluble glycoproteins often show a high viscosity, for example, in egg white and blood plasma. Variable surface glycoproteins allow the sleeping sickness trypanosoma parasite to escape the immune response of the host. The viral spike of the human immunodeficiency virus is heavily glycosylated. Approximately half the mass of the spike is glycosylation and the glycans act to limit antibody recognition as the glycans are assembled by the host cell and so are largely self. Over time, some patients can evolve antibodies to recognize the HIV glycans and almost all so-called broadly neutralizing antibodies. BNABs, recognize some glycans. This is possible mainly because the unusually high density of glycans hinders normal glycan maturation and they are therefore trapped in the premature, high mannose, state. This provides a window for immune recognition. In addition, as these glycans are much less variable than the underlying protein, they have emerged as promising targets for vaccine design. Hormones Hormones that are glycoproteins include Functions Analysis A variety of methods used in detection, purification, and structural analysis of glycoproteins are colon 525, 